Oh, wait, that was not the end? Oh, there's another one. I did not expect that. That was the penultimate one then. The end of dreams, FSC 113. The journey and the dream are coming to an end. Those who have left will be met again one day. Come grab a drink with me when it's Usually, at the end of these events, the characters leave. Usually, we don't get our hands on the main sinners, so whatever. The dream flower simply stands there gazing at you with cheery eyes as if waiting for you to speak. I'm here to save Stargazer. I'm all here to stop this. Well, I did say this. I'm here to save Stargazer, so I might as well go with that. I'm here to save Stargazer, and also that also sounds less selfish. So if you're trying to show our like pure side to the our dream flower, then maybe we should go for a reason that's less selfish than trying to stop the disaster, because that is a bit of a selfish reason for ourselves. The dream flower shakes her head, walks over to you, and takes your hand. Is this Stargazer's past? Holy shit, she's small. It's not a curse. I'm not a monster. You're only afraid because you don't have my power. You... are just jealous. Our tribe has been blessed with the power of the gods since the dawn of time. These godly blessings have allowed us to survive this long migration. Hmm, this guy's also super cool. But you are different. Your power comes from a monster. From a curse. You peer into the future and presume to change the trajectory set out by the gods. You heretic! Expel her! We refuse to have nightmares any longer. Go back to your monster! Get out! Go die! Targazer flees deep into the desert, trying to shake off the furious, ferocious companion shooting at her from behind. Flower? Is it true? I can gain freedom and companionship by coming to your side? The small figure runs unfalteringly towards the tides of ashes, swallowed up by the wind and sand. When you leave Stargazer's memory, the dream flower is still standing quietly in front of you. Are you trying to tell me through this memory that Stargazer is sick of humans, so she should be with you and follow you back to that realm of truth? Rebute the dream flower. If that's the case, why did she respond to me? Why did she sing the song at the end? This is why I came here to see you. It's to tell you that she is asking me for help. That she still wants to stay in this world and that she doesn't belong to you. I don't understand. What is the realm of truth? I kind of want to know what that shit is. Because I didn't know there was multiple dimensions in this world. I mean, I knew that there was like mania and apocalypse and a bunch of dumb shit that's happening all over the planet. I didn't know that there were, we were going to go into looking into futures and different dimensions. From behind the dream flower, a figure walks calmly towards you. Happy? It's a reunion after a brief separation, little one. Just a lie. A little injury by the power of the dream flower. It's nothing. Moreover, I'm a sinner. S-Class. Yes, you are a sinner, so perhaps my shackles can help support your heart and... Sargazel chuckles and shakes her head. Your shackles have already replaced the dream flower's heart as my heart. I no longer need to rely on the power of the dream flower to survive. You have bound me to your side forever. Oh, what shall I do? Sargazel gently twirls a strand of her, your hair and steps forward to kiss it. From now on... This world of lies has two monsters. Sargis are turned by the dream flower begins to dissolve bit by bit, gradually morphing back into a huge, lurid flower. This, it sways and trembles as if communicating with Stargazer. Ooh, let's get a thumbnail of that as well. The white one. Pretty cool. Really? Yes, it's time to go. 
The passage to the holy realm has been waiting for you for a long time. Me? Oh, I will not give up my pursuit of truth, my dear companion. I think, perhaps someday, I'll come with him and meet you again. The dream flower doesn't respond, it simply folds its petal and dissolves into specks of glittering light. The starry sparkles dance in the air, cloaking you in light, they seem to want to take you somewhere. This is a sea of flowers. This is the sea we met Hecate in. In the first chapters, like probably first episode or something, I've seen. You finally woke up! Seeing that you have awakened, Kava Kava lets, you, uh, lets out a sigh of relief. This area has just been hit by an earthquake. Coupled with the collapse of the ruins, there are now quicksand zones everywhere. Come with me now, otherwise when the ruins completely collapse, it will be almost impossible to move. You help yourself up, you see Hela and Hecate by your side, but Stargazer is missing. Chief, who are you looking for? I... Are you looking for me? I'm here to see you, little one. You spin around, the moment you hear the voice, Targaryen stands and skates from the highest point of sinking ruins, smiling and gazing down at you. You really are still alive. I didn't expect to be alive either. Maybe the heavens heard my prayer. Targaryen seems to recall a certain scene and flashes an even brighter smile. Little one, remember not to give out your heart so easily in the future. Beware of being tricked into foolishly sacrificing your life to save someone else. Not to mention someone who betrayed you. Betrayed? If she hadn't bought it up, you almost forgot. I didn't do it just to save you. The fact is you choose trickery to steal our crystal and regardless of what your motive is, I have to take you back to MBCC for interrogation. To get ready to cast your shackles, suddenly several sandworms leap up from beneath the sand. Sorry, little one. I can't go with you yet. Of course. The sandworms carry Stargazer towards the depth of the ruins at lightning speed. The countless plots of quicksand make it impossible for you to give chase. You can only watch as it disappears into the vast white sands. Someday, the stars will shine upon the high tower. And I will return to you. High Tower? We will go together to the realm of truth. There's another one. Um, Cabernet also said something similar. She said, Chase the height of like flavor or something. Like It wasn't like that dumb. It sounded much cooler when she said it. But yeah, she also said something like, We will eventually meet or something like that. Maybe all of these are leading to like a mega event or something that will last like an entire month or something. In F112, the MBCC and Outland Affairs Bureau jointly completed White Sands Counterbanded Operation. The mission report is as follows. During the mission, the team encountered an S-Class Sinner Stargazer. Unfortunately, she escaped and the team presented Quinn with a warrant to investigate Sinner Kawakawa. They were told that his current whereabouts are unknown. The team discovered and neutralized the Dream Flower, a mania source that can cause apocalyptic natural disasters. The team successfully vanquished the rampant desert pandas, recovering 83% of the Harper Caves have been stolen in the past three months. Tides of Ashes have returned to its regular low frequency trade well, where did the tide of ashes coming from when the flower left then was it a natural event and the flower was actually just using it like boosting it the tides of ashes returned to a regular low frequency trade in the white sands have gradually normalized the charges against quinn dealing with the outlands have been temporarily dropped but there is no guarantee they will not resurface in the future that I got all this by simply gifting a sand ship. On top of the desk, several stacks of files lay out detailed information on captured desert bandits, including hypercube smuggling routes, channels, sources of goods, customer relations. And there's even a windfall. She's an S-Class center, by the way. Irene fingertips glides across the face in the photo. Shackles. 
Interesting. Good job, V710. I wonder if he'll be an interesting opponent. And that was FSC 113. By the way, I think Irene is always interested in, in interested in a challenge. I think in the last event we actually met her at one point and she, we played chess with her as far as I can remember. Or maybe I'm just bullshitting. Endless Voyage. I'm guessing this is just combat. Uh, the adventure is over sometimes you miss the time in White Sands, but let's try it out. Go, go, go! Emperor, I'm sure it's just combat. Uh, X level. A ship has ambushed while dog hanging there. Yeah, whatever. Alright, thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description to my Twitter and my Patreon. Uh, but more importantly, like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to watch something specific. I am going to be playing more uh, Magium recently because I got a comment. But yeah, uh, see you guys in a bit. Uh, when the next event happens or if I get some free time, I might be playing the main story as well because I'm very confused about a lot of events. But yeah, bye bye.